So that's my first attempt at uh, cl Cloud Sky with um, his technique, the guy who does the watercolor secrets. So this is um, uh, where you take out the clouds and then you put the shadows under. And it didn't turn out great. And you're thinking, well, Pauline, you didn't it. even put it square. Well, it's supposed to be, it'll be a card in the picture. So there's mm -hmm. another, and I have uh, oh, part of the sofa colored in already. and. Mm -hmm. There's a hand that I, I put the mm -hmm. um, masking fluid on. I was going to color this and I thought, oh, I better masking fluid the nails or I'm going to lose them. So we'll see how that works out. James is eating um, Korean barbecue chicken soup without the chicken in it. And a sandwich which, um, with lots of veggies on it and some Swiss cheese. And, and the meat went to Angel and the other chihuahuas and he's eating pear and apple with almond butter. Mm -hmm. A very good treat. Yeah. I, I love that. I, um, I was trying to eat gluten-free um, years ago and it is best, I think, to do so. I'll, um, but you know, that's up to the individual what they think. But honestly, if, if you're eating uh, gluten, and if you're eating wheat and it's causing inflammation in your body, well then it's injuring your body. And if your body is constantly trying to, like it's constantly being injured by what you're eating and it's trying to repair itself, well it can't devote the, those, the energy to repair itself to other areas. And I think, um, you're good for now I am, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a doctor, so, and I, this is just me just thinking things. So, whatever my whatever well, I'm thinking than might doctors. mean nothing. Doctors you know? don't think anything. But um, this is just you know my logic is making me think that that there's the body um, like James's body may not react really badly to gluten, but um, no, like yours, then he ended up his body did react badly to it perhaps you know but he because um, they say that exactly they say that cancer is your body doesn't recognize it as a disease and that's why it's such a problem right because it thinks it's it's you um, whereas other things you know like with me I had problems with um, my fingers cramping up and and my sister had the same problem you know, and problems with the wrist, and, and I had problems with my wrist, so joint problems, right? And a lot of people, if you've looked back at the books that I've reviewed about this, about the subject of um, uh, diet and stuff, and people, I've reviewed a lot of keto, ketogenic diet books and stuff like that, um, which I'm not necessarily promoting or anything like that. I'm just saying um, I've reviewed them and the people who go for the keto, they're against gluten and eating wheat and stuff like that and they have their reasons and it's maybe influenced my thinking patterns and things. I don't know. But honestly I think that when people have problems where they're getting pain when they eat uh, things like gluten, then that's actually a good thing because um, it's telling you perhaps that you have other health issues that your body is desperately trying to repair itself for. Like you might have a, say, um, familial hypercholesterolemia or something like that, that your body is constantly trying to repair itself from the problems from that, right? That it has to deal with that. And and then, so you're getting the pain because it can't deal with all of, it can't deal with that on top of it. So you're, it's maybe telling you, you should be looking out for another, another health problem that you have because you're getting this, you know, where you're getting this pain from something that is so commonly eaten. So, uh, whereas other people aren't getting it, you know, anyway. That's just my my thinking process, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a health professional. I draw um, 
poor clouds so far. This is this is me. This is me. And I, I make I try to make healthy sort of meals for James. So um, it's not really a chicken noodle soup, but I usually put those like peas and carrots and stuff like that, those ingredients in chicken noodle soup. And instead I have brown rice because I had cooked I got into a habit of eating soup with brown rice uh, instead of noodles and really liked it. You know, you have a if you have a pot of cooked rice in the fridge all the time, you're ready for making fried rice. You're ready for making soup with uh, rice in it. And I think it's I think it's better than noodles, but you, you might not agree. I don't I know. I think so. I like both. Yeah. And um, so we were given chicken broth the organic chicken broth from the food truck a while back and James is okay with eating the chicken broth if it's in soup or whatever he says that's fine and we're giving it free you know it's not like we went out and bought chicken broth so anyway and um, I had this Korean barbecue sauce from uh, some chicken things we were given from the Salvation Army which I'm very thankful for, and Angel Dog is very thankful for. So uh, I could have put chicken in James's soup if he'd wanted it, but I didn't think he'd want it. So, because um, it's there, I cooked it up and it's in the freezer and whatever, but I used some of the sauce in that for to um, make the soup a little tastier. And I think it, I think it probably worked pretty well. Yesterday we had the soup with, um, I made it uh, not with chicken broth. Yesterday I made it with um, one of those seasoning packages, the crock pot ones with the uh, barbecue sauce and that was pretty good too. But James said it was a little hot so I put less in this pot of soup for him. We'll see how that goes. And my favorite treat to eat, um, it's good with peanut butter too. but. Um, Really, a lot of people say peanut butter is not that good for a person, and people would prefer to eat almond butter. So I lucked out. I went to Shoppers this morning, and they had this almond butter on sale for three dollars and forty-nine cents a container. And I was like, oh yay! So I was able to get um, almond butter to serve James with his apples and pears, and it's way better than if you like eating peanut butter on toast or almond butter on toast. Maybe try it on apples. It's actually really good. And I'll sit down and eat four or five apples at once just with, with that. So, because it's a really tasty treat. Now, I guess I'll talk about the watercolor secrets a bit. Um, I'm now on DVD 3 Skies, apparently, right? You can see. And um, that's one of the skies, but um, I don't know if you noticed when you had it up close, but my my blue sky fell down a little bit at the corners of my picture, and that looks silly, right? So that's that's a problem I'll have to try to work on um, correcting. And I did overwork the putting the shadows in the clouds, as you could tell. But that's just practice, you know, I'll get it right. And I had too much water here and this the shadow on the ground ended up running. So that didn't work out that great. But you know what? If it doesn't work out as a watercolor painting, it's going to be a great mixed media painting. <laughs> so I can always add corrections with some other um, thing, pastels, whatever, on top of the stuff if it doesn't work out and it'll be great. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. I want to put a picture of um, one of the animals from the Silas stories, or maybe I was thinking, uh, I, I have this picture of my nephew in my mind when he was a little baby and he looked so cute. And, and I was thinking, well, maybe I'll put that on the, on the mug, you know, because people always put pictures on their mug. They get these um, kind of portraits. You've seen them. They're sweet. I don't have one, but in my painting, I can have one. <laughs> so I'll, I could put whatever. I could put one of our pets from the past, or I could put um, Elijah. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, 
we'll see how the rest of it goes. I was doing that this morning and then I thought, oh, I better put masking fluid on the fingernails. And so I did that and I went to the store. So that's, I could have gotten the rest of the sofa done had I not went to the store, but uh, that's okay. Um, I'll bring this out again for you to see in uh, later on when I've finished it or whatever. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's some problems that I had. I did put the water on the card first to try to keep the, the paint from going elsewhere. I didn't want it elsewhere in my painting. I wanted it on the card, on the greeting card, right? And, but my lines are not perfectly straight, you can see. So that's a problem. I need, a, I need straight lines there. And I'm going to need to fix that somehow. How? I don't know. I'll have to put a frame on the card or something because I need straight lines there. And, but that's not a, a major problem. Like I said, I can always make it a mixed media picture. And I could do the frame in markers and have a perfectly straight line or whatever, right? Um, so, not a big deal. So, um, anyway, what else did I have problems with on this? Mostly it was an issue with water, I think. Too much water. And then, oh, I started lightening, like, the transition from the blue to the uh, yellow ochre or whatever. The transition, I, I started doing it too far down, actually. And then I, because I was wanting this to be a snow scene down here with a little bit of reflections from the yellow ochre in it. And then I... I brought it all the way down here and it, I'm like, oh no, what do I do with all this? So it's not going to be a snow scene anymore because <laughs> I brought it way too far down. So uh, I might be able to put little snow tufts around plants or something down here. Or if, if I make it a mixed media thing, if I do some pastel, I could do that. I could stick some pastel in there for the snow, but um, it's probably not going to be a snow scene anymore. That's okay. What else did I do wrong? Honestly, I feel pretty good about it. You know, it's my first attempt at this sort of cloud pattern. This is not how I've done clouds in the past. I have seen people do clouds like this, and I, I've been like, yeah, I don't know if it looks that great. But his way is a bit better. I like his rolling the brush to make the clouds. Like you take a dry brush and you roll the paint out with the cloud with the dry brush and it looks more wispy at the it looks good whereas I have seen his other the way he shows with the paper towel that's you wet the paper towel and you tap and then you move it and then you tap and tap but and you get this puffy cloud look which is but you don't it doesn't end up looking kind of wispy at the edge right which clouds do they look kind of wispy at the edges they don't look like cotton balls in the sky right so um I really like his rolling brush thing. So, yeah, it's just a matter of practice and eventually it's going to look great. I, I feel feel pretty good about it. Oh, and this one, I didn't only use dollar store paint because, frankly, I got frustrated with the dollar store paints and I do have some others around, so I the yellow ochre is not dollar store. That's why it looks so good. <laughs> so the rest of it there was dollar store. All of that was dollar store, but the yellow ochre is not. It's um, that's on the uh, couch there. Yeah. That that does look like the couch. It looks like the couch. James knows it. It's this couch in here. I, I still have this old couch. So yeah, and eventually I will match like this um, greenish blue the stormy sky kind of color. It's going to end up down on the pants. And um, yeah, so it'll, you'll have the colors in both places. And then the colors on the cup are not going to be the same. So it's going to be obviously at the focal point. It's going to be, there's going to be some reds and stuff in there. So, uh, but you'll see. Do you have anything you want to talk about today? Not really. I'm, I'm really How's your soup? It's good, yeah. It's just about the right... Uh, just about the right heat this soup. time. Good. Good. Because uh, I didn't uh, really know what I'd use that sauce for. But... Um, the sandwich was excellent. Good. Yep. 
and uh, I guess that's all I have. So that's it. I'll, next time we'll be talking about more skies. It won't be this kind of sky, it'll be a different kind of sky. Mm -hmm. And it'll all be fun. <laughs>